Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Rudd's here. We're going to do a uh, head shave. You'll also be able to watch the uh, face shave that I already finished uh, while I head shaved. But anyways, neither here nor there. Um, what's important is this is Jeff Redman's shave. This is for Jeff. He is a uh, valuable member of TSM, and today we were uh, tasked to honor him with a uh, shave of the day. So, Jeff, this is for you. We'll start off with the uh, beverage of the shave. Bullet bourbon. Cheers, Jeff. For our soap, we will be using Barrister and Man Seville. This is the uh, new glissant base. The brush is a rubber set 200-3 with a 24 millimeter maggard excuse me sunrise knot in it <clears throat> gillette slim adjustable i3 date code with fresh gillette silver blue blade we will go on uh, setting six for the head and we shall finish with Barrister Man Reserve Classic. <coughs> As you can see, the puck's still wet from earlier, so I won't be re-blooming it. We'll load it up here, and we'll get right onto the head. Looks like plenty. Don't waste any. Still a little dry, but we'll fix that in a moment here. I like to spread it out first. So I've had a uh, rather busy day in the rather busy few days many of you know mrs rudd's had her uh hernia surgery on thursday morning everything went successful and smashingly um thank you for all the uh, well wishes we received the day of and your uh, continued check-ins to see how we're doing She's doing quite well today. Was able to uh, take the bandages off and have her first shower. And slowly but surely things will be getting uh, back to normal. So yeah, the uh, the daughter and I went to uh, the apple picking and pumpkin picking farm this morning, an event sponsored by my uh, work, so that was nice. And then we had just enough time to uh, stop at the booze store so I could stock up on that bullet as well as uh, Some founders breakfast out for tomorrow's game game day beverage and uh, then we went off to a roller skating birthday party and as much as you all would like to see it the uh, footage of Rudd's on skates will not be released at least not this time. I'm sure one of you will uh, try to get your hands on a copy of that. <clears throat> Alright, we're all lathered up here. Give it a little 
heat and here we go I know Jeff uh, really appreciates his vintage razors incidentally I don't know what his favorite vintage razor is but I know he does like adjustable vintage razors a lot among others uh, Jeff is a huge fan of tobacco as well but even though I have a full jar of it hiding away in the shave den there ain't no way I'm shaving with tobacco um, so I chose Seville which is another one of his very favorite scents. He has very, very good taste in uh, soap, aside from the tobacco. <clears throat> Had the pleasure of hanging with Jeff a couple weeks ago at the uh, Northeast Shave Meetup. Uh, he was there last year as well for the second annual one um, And while I did speak with him, I didn't have a whole lot of time with him this year He was uh, part of the after party group that I my wife and I wanted to stick with And he's just a real pleasure to be around real genuine guy real down-to-earth Pretty laid back. Uh, I think that's the uh, West Coast roots in him. Even though he lives in Maine now and probably wrestles bears and catches lobsters on the reg, he's still got some of that West Coast laid back to him. Chose the uh, rubber set brush obviously because it's a vintage restore. Most of Jeff's gear, I believe, is vintage. He's a uh, he's got a good eye for antiques. Tends to find great deals. Has very good taste, for sure. This, uh, this number six setting is, I don't want to jinx myself, but this is about my sweet spot now. I think seven slightly, slightly too bitey, especially when I'm talking and shaving like this. Um, <clears throat> and five requires a little extra work back here on the uh, back side. Um, but six seems to do the trick. So, yeah, this shave is going well. Jeff's, uh, good karma must be coming my way. Really cool poll question today we had in TSM. Um, given <clears throat> only, given the uh, ultimatum basically to only use one type of razor for the rest of your life, would you choose vintage or modern? Uh, and that's generated some great conversation, and I think it's, last I checked, Modern was ahead by five or seven people, maybe maybe slightly more, um, which kind of surprises me. 
Um, I do like modern razors, both straight razors and DE razors in the modern variant. Um, <clears throat> but these vintage razors are just killer. They really withstand the test of time and... I mean, they've been around for 40, 50, 60, or longer, years or longer. And they're still giving great shaves. Even with uh, blades that are now thinner, you know, more surgical and whatnot. They've really stood the test of time. All right. <clears throat> that was a sick dome shave. Let me uh, get cleaned up here, and we'll be back for some splash and some closing comments. All right, we're back. Let's get some of this uh, magic put on. Beautiful. This is a this is definitely a scent Jeff will appreciate. I believe he already has this one. This is the classic. Wow. All right. Excellent. Let's wrap it up here, folks. <clears throat> Barrister and Mansaville. Rubber set 200 3, 24 millimeter. Sunrise knot. Gillette Slim Adjustable I3 with first use Gillette Silver Blue. Finish the shave with Barrister's Reserve Classic and our beverage of the shave, Bullet Bourbon. Have a good Saturday. Jeff, you deserve this. Cheers.